Father's Day today proved to be very special for famed aviation writer and airline pilot Barry Schiff. Tonight, Barry Schiff flew his last flight as a TWA captain. He's been at it for 34 years. That's 25,000 flight hours. Most airline captains do not choose to go willingly. It's the FAA that says at 60 they must retire. But as Barry Schiff prepares the cockpit for his last flight, he's full of nostalgia and pride pride because sitting in the right seat next to him, flying co-pilot in the 757, is his own son, TWA first officer Brian Schiff. He was a baby. He drew pictures of, of airplanes and he built models of airplanes and I guess he liked what I was doing and decided that's what he wanted to do too. He's been following in my footsteps almost uh, step for step. Didn't talk about that. Oh, sure we did. Remember? The father-son bond between Barry and Brian Schiff has been strong in almost everything they do. But flying is the super glue that kept them together even after Brian grew up. For father and son, it's both passion and job. Barry taught Brian how to fly. He soloed on his 16th birthday, and Barry wielded the scissors in an old aviation tradition. Then seven years ago, they flew their first airline flight together. Well, our first trip together was from New York to Berlin. That's when he was a flight engineer. And I was a captain then. It was very sentimental. Uh, there was a time when I looked over at him at the panel and he was doing his work and I actually shed a little tear and it made me appreciate how wonderful it is to have a son follow in his father's footsteps. Not because I suggested it, but it's because that's what he wanted to do. Now they're flying their last trip together. The flight from St. Louis to LAX is one Barry Schiff has flown hundreds of times. But as the miles tick away, the long career is coming to an end. Well, normally your, a retirement flight is a bittersweet pill because you have to leave because of FAA requirements. But a flight with your son as your first officer on Father's Day makes it very special and very joyful. And for Brian Schiff, flying with dad is always better than having to buy the old man a tie. He taught me to fly. I learned a lot from him, and it's going to be my last chance to learn something from him about being a captain. Barry Schiff will continue to fly his own plane and continue to write about it. And with his son flying for TWA, he doesn't have to worry about losing those airline ticket privileges either. And if you're looking at the long term, there's that grandson you saw there in the cockpit. Someday he too will be wearing a captain's hat. I think he already was. He probably already has one, yeah. <laughs> very lovely story, very lovely. At some point, every pilot has his or her final flight. But tonight's farewell mission is special for Captain Barry Schiff and his family. He taught me to fly. I learned a lot from him, and it's going to be my last chance to learn something from him about being a captain. On Tuesday, Barry Schiff turns 60 years old, the age the FAA requires pilots to retire. And for the final time tonight, he's flying the 757 from St. Louis to Los Angeles. But instead of a Father's Day tie or a gold watch for retirement, his son Brian is giving his dad himself. I'm qualified as a 767 first officer, and I would hate to hear of some other qualified first officer getting to fly with him on his last trip on Father's Day. And what better gift can there be than to follow in one's footsteps and say, hey, Dad, I like what you've become, and I want to do the same. And he proves it by flying with me as my first officer on my final flight of my career. And that's for a son to follow in his father's footsteps is a secret dream for many dads. But for Captain Schiff, he says it's more honorable that his son is good at what he does. He wasn't doing it to try to please me. He really wanted to fly. And he worked very hard at it. He's become one heck of a pilot. And could there be another pilot waiting in the wings? Brian's eight-week-old son, Brett, joined Dad and Grandpa, and he was dressed for the part. Meantime, Barry Schiff says just because he's retired, his love for aviation won't fizzle. He'll continue to write about aviation and fly his own small plane in Southern California. And he says when his son is captain, he'll be right there along with the other passengers. At Lambert Airport, Lisa Smith, News 30. Well, this is Father's Day, of course, and one TWA pilot will not soon forget this particular holiday. Captain Barry Schiff made his last flight for TWA tonight, and his son, Brian, was his co-pilot. Barry Schiff will turn 60 on Tuesday. By federal law, he'll be too old to pilot commercial passenger aircraft and must retire. 
He says tonight's flight is the best Father's Day present he's ever received. You can't compare it to a, a, a ribbon wrapped package and a tie. When someone gives of themselves for all of their lives and, and culminates it in one special flight on one special day, there is no comparison. Relatives and friends were also on the flight, including Barry's eight-week-old grandson, Brett. Well, as this Father's Day draws to a close, so does the career of a pilot who's flown for TWA for the past 34 years. At 6.05 this evening, Captain Barry Schiff lifted his last Boeing 757 off the runway at Lambert Airport with his son, also a TWA pilot, at his side. In the cockpit, he has to be my boss. Captain Barry Schiff has flown thousands of passengers countless miles all over the world in his long career as a TWA pilot. But tonight, flight 347 to Los Angeles will be one he will never forget. Not just because it's his last as a pilot of a commercial passenger aircraft, but because three generations of Schiff's will be on board. His son Brian, who also flies for TWA, will be his co-pilot. Brian's eight-week-old son, Brett, will ride in the passenger cabin with Mom. It's probably one of the most exciting days of my, of my life, really. I can't imagine a more thrilling flight. Let's do a slow and easy checklist. Let's okay. make sure we got it right. Schiff is retiring because federal regulation says he has to. No one over 60 can pilot commercial passenger planes. It's a bittersweet pill. On the one hand, you know that when the FAA says you're really too old to fly as soon as you turn 60, you have to accept that. And I have no choice. Well, that's the sad part of today. But the joy of flying with my son and my grandson on Father's Day on my retirement flight is beyond description. Son Brian Schiff plans to attend captain school sometime next year as he carries on his father's flying tradition. Both father and son hope a love of aviation will develop in the littlest Schiff and that one day he too may decide to make a love for flying a lifelong career. Captain Schiff plans to live in Southern California and continue flying his single engine plane and writing about airplanes. Well, there will be a very special crew in the cockpit of a TWA flight to Los Angeles this Father's Day. Captain Barry Schiff got to hand-pick his co-pilot for the final flight of his 34-year career. Tonight, 11 News at 9's Candace Coleman explains why this Father's Day departure will be his most memorable. Brian Schiff vividly remembers the first time he saw his father fly. And when I saw that, first of all, you know, for a little kid to see something so impressionable as a jet, is pretty awesome and then to find out your dad's flying it uh that that just made it for me i said i gotta do that his father's love for aviation inspired brian to get his own wings uh, brian's come a long way since i taught him to fly in the family satabria and no father could have been prouder this father's day will be captain Schiff's final flight for trans world airlines son brian will be co-pilot this little guy here will be the second officer on his grandpa's final flight. His name is Brad, and he's only eight weeks old. I guess in the circle of life, uh, I'm proud to carry on a legacy of, of his leadership at TWA. Yeah. I'm glad that I'll be kind of the middleman between him and, and, and Brett being on the airplane. While Captain Schiff is looking forward to retirement, he's also waiting for the day his son will earn captain wings. And like me, he'll continue to be awed by a world of experiences and sensations about which ordinary people only dream. Captain Schiff is not giving up his passion for flying. He owns a small plane. He'll probably fly more often just to see his grandson now. And that's a great story. Oh, it is. Yep. Much more to come tonight on 11 News at 9. We'll be right back. TWA Flight 347 was a sentimental journey for its pilot on this Father's Day. The St. Louis to Los Angeles flight was the grand finale to the career of veteran pilot Barry Schiff. He's retiring after 30 years with the airline. What makes this Father's Day flight unique is that Schiff's son Brian, also a TWA pilot, was the co-pilot on the flight, and his, the flight, his flight was the first flight for his three-month-old grandson. It was an incredible experience. I mean, normally I get an old tie or a handkerchief, but to have my son as my first officer giving me the gift of an endorsement of what I've been doing all of my life is the finest Father's Day present one can receive. 
Schiff has reached TWA's mandatory retirement age of 60 years old. Both of his sons are licensed commercial pilots. And while Captain Schiff's career has come to an end, he is proud to say he started a family tradition that will last for generations, and now he is going to spend his time being a proud grandfather. Right?